showcasing the winners of the American Soybean Association Conservation Legacy Awards is extremely important because we want to make sure that they are highlighted on the good works that they're doing for innovative conservation practices. It is very appropriate that the United Soybean Board sponsor the Conservation Legacy Award because soybean farmers in this country have made a legacy of conservation. And conservation is what makes us a very sustainable. And sustainability is one of our soybeans top value propositions. The company name is Sturman Mosser Incorporated and we do have a farming operation. We farm 5,000 acres in five valleys in central Pennsylvania in the Susquehanna River Basin. My family immigrated from Germany in the mid-1700s. They migrated up to western Schuylkill County around 1800 and my family's been farming in this region ever since. My son and daughter are involved in on the business and their generation number eight. The challenges we have farming in this region are we're in rolling hills. Our topsoil is about 10 inches deep. It's very fertile soil. It's a lek hill silt loam. We're using contour strips. Those strips are 120 feet wide and they are not all straight. We farm the strips on the contours of the side hills and that makes our average strip about two and a half acres. So that makes it a challenge with the larger equipment. It makes a challenge when you're trailing equipment for a GPS. We have to have steerable potato planters, for instance. And when we have corn planters, we, to do the point rows, we have automatic shutoffs. And so we're very fortunate to have GPS and we're getting in tune to making that work for us so we can be as productive as our competitors who are using large fields in the uh, west of us. We use no-till uh, practices on all our grains, our corn, soybeans, and wheat. The only crop that we actually do till is potatoes, and we minimum till that. We use chisel plows to till our potatoes. And then we'll use cover crops. We'll, when we harvest potatoes, we put a cover crop in as soon as they're harvested. We use cover crop on almost all our ground. It's very important to my family and me to be good stewards of our land. It's a passion of ours to take care of the soil, to take care of the land we own, so that we have the resources available for the next generation. It's been a tremendous honor for us at Monsanto to partner closely with the American Soybean Association in recognizing farmers who take the extra effort in their farms and implement the practices in their operations that help better care for the environment, that help better steward the land. The Conservation Legacy Award is one way in helping shine a light on how agriculture can be a part of the solution to increasing sustainability. It is exciting to see how the American farmers have innovated and adopted a myriad of new technologies. At Valent, we are bringing new technologies every day to partner with farmers to enhance the sustainability of production while meeting the challenge of feeding the world. Congratulations to this year's winners and to all farmers who work so hard to conserve and preserve our natural resources. One of the opportunities uh, for me in the last uh, 20, 30 years since I've been on this journey of, uh, of, of being more productive as a farmer has been the opportunity to take uh, farmland that maybe has been somewhat compromised and to bring it along into a much more productive state. Uh, my strategy has been really quite simple. Number one, it's been to reduce the tillage. My goal is to eliminate tillage almost entirely. Uh, the second is to correct the deficiencies. The next part of the step is to try to recreate good soil quality, soil health. And we can do that by trying to keep a growing crop on the, on the ground at all times. About 20 years ago, we could see that our yields were running probably very close to parity with our neighbors who were doing all the tillage. And about 10 years ago, we began to see that our yields and our uh, productive capacity was in fact surpassing many of our neighbors. Profitability and being a conservationist are not mutually exclusive. It is possible to be very conservation-minded and to do everything that's right from a soil quality and a soil health and a, 
uh, a land use resource management mindset without uh, forcing yourself to operate at a loss. We can be profitable and still farm with a strong conservation mindset. And to me what sustainability means is being able to provide for the immediate while not taking away from the opportunity for future generations to meet their needs. And so very simply, to be a builder. And to be a builder in such a way so that when we're gone, the world is a better place than when we entered. We are proud to support this award and the ASA in furthering the soybean industry. Like the winners, BASF is committed to conservation programs like Living Acres to promote butterfly habitat. We support the efforts of the winners and the countless other growers who work tirelessly to improve their land and drive our industry forward. The farm began in about 1882 with my great-great-grandfather when he started the cotton gin and farming operation in this location. A high biomass is the quickest way, in my opinion, to improve the soils and, exper and experience the, the immediate benefits that you can see from cover crops, which is, is weed control. I've gotten away from early term termination to, to plant and, and gotten in, into planting green, where I will use mechanical means of a roller crimper to terminate the crop, and I will uh, also have to use a little, little bit of herbicide too to terminate some, some of the species. I found that, uh, by, that by do doing this, I'm able to get the full benefits because uh, typically the last, last week to two weeks that the cover crops are growing, that's when you're going to get the majority of your biomass, and biomass is what it takes to increase organic matter and, and control weeds. I've, uh, I've developed uh, some uh, residue movers that didn't, that didn't wrap up with, uh, with the cover crops and allowed me to plant, uh, plant a, a different variety of cash crops in, into the cover crop. Uh, most difficult was probably cotton because it's such a, such a shallow seeded crop with a, with a low population. And, uh, that was, uh, and that was where these uh, residue movers that I, that I made uh, last year have, have, really, have really benefited me in getting the kind of stand I need to have a profitable cotton crop. Water is our, usually our biggest limiting factor on crop production here, here in West Tennessee. But through, through terracing, no-till, cover crops, uh, it is, I'm really starting to see improvements in my, in my in infiltration. I've, I've documented uh, uh, behind cover crops, uh, uh, a water infiltra infiltration rate of 62 inches per hour for the first inch and 12 inches per hour for the second inch, compared to roughly two inches per hour for, for, for straight no-till. Conservation is, is, is extremely important to me because in my opinion, uh, the good Lord has given us uh, a perfect system to, uh, to live in and, and, to, and, to pro and to prosper in. He's, he's given us all the ingredients and it's, it's up to me and other farmers to manage that the, the right way. In Corner Soybean Digest, we showcase our Think Different philosophy in every issue and every story. And these three family farms from Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee provide proof that different thinking can take conservation and sustainability to higher levels as well as inspire all farmers to improve soil health and water quality practices in every field while maintaining profitability.